as I said before the intro, uh, or as this play said before the intro, today we're going to be learning how to uh, connect this uh, 16x2 LCD display to the Raspberry Pi, and especially the 3 and 4, because I have seen that they have a lot of problems with a lot of different libraries. So let's get straight to it. So to, um, to connect the Raspberry Pi and the LCD together, I would like to use a pinout chart instead of schematic for something that's as simple as this. Um, why a pinout chart? Because number one, a pinout chart most of the time have the exact pin numbers of the GPIO pins, not the GPIO number. Uh, why I prefer the exact pin number? Because it's a lot simpler to like check which one it is. But when you are checking with GPIO pin numbers, it's like they're all over the way. Like, for example, this is pin number 18, but pin, GPIO pin number 18, sorry. And this is pin number one, not the GPIO pin number one, but the normal pin number one, like the row pin, which is that why I prefer normal pins over GPIO pin pinouts. Uh, because as you see, GPIO pins are all, over the, uh, are all over the place. I will, but I will also link a schematic to the whole thing on the GitHub page, and I will also put the pinout chart along with the Raspberry Pi four and three and two pinouts uh, on the screen right now. Now, here is a time lapse of me connecting everything and enjoy! Um, so, here's the code uh, we're gonna be using today. Uh, basically, here we assign the value, we assign the names or the values or variables, whatever you want to call it, to the GPIO pins. And these numbers are the actual GPIO pin numbers, not the normal, not just the pin numbers. Uh, here we uh, initialize how much character, how many characters per line, and here we give the ad, we give the Raspberry Pi the address of the first and second line and then we give the delay and pulse to the clock and basically here we are setting all pins to low to like initialize the uh, or to clear the display and then here we just send some stuff which is just uh, according to what I know it's to test and uh, display and then here we initialize the display and start sending message messages uh, here we got the LCD send byte LCD line one like LCD CMD and then you have the LCD message in here uh, these just show up line by line uh, basically simple stuff uh, but here this shows of character by character which is pretty special and it's a little bit more complicated basically it clears uh, it also clears the first line and leaves and pushes the second line up which as you saw in the uh, beginning or the video how it went it's pretty simple and neat stuff uh, and then uh, time sleep and then GPI cleanup which basically most of the time just turns the LCD into uh, showing up blocks like rectangles and that's it. So the code is pretty, it, it looks long and scary but really it's really simple. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could find a way to make it a little bit shorter and easier if you use a library but I've been having a really rough time with libraries so I opted to use this one instead and I'm, I'm obviously not running this on a Raspberry Pi I'm running it on my laptop but yeah I'm using Visual Studio Code and yeah that's it so this is how it should like with everything uh, properly set up um, and then basically this is the contrast potentiometer it's 
con it controls the contrast of the LCD. Um, you could re add another one and set it for backlight by using uh, the A and instead of connecting it directly to the positive terminal, you connect it through a potenti potentiometer to the positive terminal. And, and like that, you could control the backlight. Now, if I run the code, uh, you see what we saw. This is the first part of the code, and then this is the second part of the code where it shows digit or character by character and then moves the lines up and down. It's pretty simple, as I said, and then, and yeah, that's it. Uh, doesn't have much to it, really. But now, if you see, uh, it, these these wires are the ones, the data wires, the ones carrying signal, and then and then this wire is the E wire. Not really sure what it does, but it's in this essential. And then this wire is the RS uh, wire. It basically sends signals between the controller and the Raspberry Pi. And then this one of the wires in here is the RW wire which is basically the read write wire. I'm not exactly sure what it does again, but it basically it sends a message from the Raspberry Pi to read. It chooses whether to read or to write to the LCD from, to read from or to write from the LCD to the LCD. And then here we have those two wires are the backlight wires. Uh, let me just pull it up a little bit. Yeah, these two wires are the backlight wires. Yeah, now it's doing the clear one. And then these wires are the uh, plus and minus, ground and positive for the LCD itself. Uh, and yeah, that's it pretty much. So, hope you enjoyed this video.